Hi everyone, let's do another coding puzzle here on the metacareers.com page. Uh, we'll do the cafeteria one. So this one is about uh, a table that consists of a row of n seats numbered from one to n from left to right. And uh, we have social distancing guidelines so that every diner must be seated uh, such that k seats to their left and k seats to their right are empty. Right, um, and there are m diners that are already at the table, and the problem is to determine the maximum number of additional diners that can be added to the table without violating the social distancing guidelines. So let's scroll down to some examples here. Uh, if n is 10, then we have 10 seats, 1 to 10, and then in this case, we've got people already seated at uh, spots two and six, so we have someone here, we have someone here, and then k is one, meaning you can't have anyone next to you. So that's what these brackets indicate. So if we want to add more people, maximize the number of additional people we get to add, we would put someone here on seat four, and then we could put someone on seat eight and seat ten. If we put someone on seat nine, then we couldn't put anyone uh, next to that person. So it's better to put someone on seat eight than you could put someone on seat ten. Um, so that's the basic problem, and let's code up a solution in Python here. Mm, the, the, the basic trick here is to see that you can treat these sequences of empty seats independently, right? So you just got to find the sequences of empty seats, and then based on the number of those uh, of seats in each sequence, calculate you know how many people can you place there. So um, let's let's get started. First of all, let's create a variable that will return. So out is just going to be the number of additional diners, right? And then let's see. Okay, so S is the list of people that are already there, right? Like here, for example. N is the total number of available, well, to yeah, total number of seats. K is the social distancing distance, and M is the length of S, I think, here, right? So let's, yeah, let's. Um, we can't loop over n, um, or I mean, yeah, we can't loop from one to n. n is potentially very large, and that would not be uh, an efficient solution. So we're going to loop over s, right? But first, we have to actually sort s for the solution that uh, I will show you here, um, and then we're going to keep track of these sequences of empty seats, right? So we'll have a, le a pointer to the leftmost uh, seat in the sequence and to the rightmost. So I'll just call those left and right. So left equals one, we'll start at the beginning. And then for s in s, um, right is gonna be um, s minus k plus one. Um, it's gonna be the, yeah, the, the rightmost seat in a sequence of empty seats. Um, and then we need to calculate um, how many people you can add to that sequence, right? So. Let me draw something out here to help you or help us see what's going on. Um, so if you've got a set of seats here, a sequence of seats that are all empty and you want to start placing as many people as you can given the, the social distancing constraint, well, you can always put someone in the first seat, right? And then depending on what K is, let's say K is two, then you can't, uh, then you got to skip two people and put someone else here, then you got to skip two people and put someone else here. So how many people can you put, right, given the number of free seats? Um, well, it's going to be one, uh, and then plus, um, well, you need two free seats next to each person, right? So it's going to be uh, k plus one. So you got this group of three and this group of three, right? So it's going to be um, one plus, and then right minus left. Um, floor division k plus one, right? So if k is two, then we have to divide by three, right? So does that make sense? Um, and then and then we find the next sequence of empty seats. So left is going to be um, s plus k plus one, right? And then we got to do we got to do this one more time for the very end. Um, so right is going to be n because that's the, the last seat. Um, and that, I think, should solve the problem for us. Let's run it, 
see if uh, we pass the test cases. And then we can talk about the runtime complexity here. So, yep, this worked. So let's see, the, um, the time complexity, uh, let's see what we're doing. So we're sorting and then we're looping, and we're sorting S and then looping through S. So sorting will have the higher time complexity of uh, M log M if M is the length of S. So that's O of M log M. And then for the space complexity, we're not using any space, right? We're using any memory. So it's just going to be O of 1. I mean, we're not creating any new arrays or anything. So that's the solution I came up with. Let me know if it makes sense to you or if you know um, how to improve this. Uh, feel free to share in the comments. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. I hope that was interesting and helpful.